Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. But this week also starts our month-long hoops edition of What's It Worth? So Dr. Lori joins us now, and you're going to tell us how this works a bit. Okay, well, basically, we're going to play the game like we always do. And, you know, a lot of people at my live events were playing the game. They found out it's harder than it they is. thought. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to play the game. You're going to guess, of course, which one's more valuable. And then the most valuable piece advances to next week and has to compete with three more objects. And, of course, we're mad about March, right? Just like with the NCAA basketball. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Okay, so we're going to get into, uh, are we going to get into an item and then actually guess the price of that? Yep. Okay, You're going to go through just three like normal. and, and just guess like just like we always do. And then at the end, we're going to see which of those items advances to next week. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. All I right. like how this is going, Dr. I like Lori. Too. Okay, so we're going to get okay. to our first item. This is the Game of Perfection, sent in by Joan. Oh, my. I this remember a, this, Dr. Lori. Yeah, this is a travel game. And actually, I remember it, too. It's the travel version of Perfection. And they gave you these little tiny plastic shapes. And you had to quickly get them in before... The buzzer pops and the whole thing goes all over the car. If you had car trips, <laughs> we did exactly. car trips. <laughs> My parents were great about car trips, so we had all these little travel games. But so Joan has this travel game too. It is from the 1970s. It looks like it's in great shape, and uh, I, I'm assuming, although I didn't get a picture, that all the little pieces are there ask. too. Yeah, that was my question too. Are the pieces there? So b bid on this or think of this. Guess on this with all the pieces. Yeah, guess okay. that all the pieces are inside. You know, it opens up and then you put all the pieces inside. It look, she, she says that the timer does work. Okay. Mm. And uh, do a lot of these still exist like this? I don't think that many of these still exist. I have to say games like this usually get played pretty hard. Yeah. And then the then the you know the pieces get lost in the inside the back seat of the car, you know. Hey, no 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 no, David. No, you changed yours. Well, You're yeah, changing but, yours. Yeah, but you take longer than me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm I don't ready. know. I maybe should have stuck with my first instinct. I said eighty dollars. I said forty dollars. It's worth twenty dollars. Oh, I said twenty-five the first time. I should have stuck 65. with that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Next up, we have a glass bowl sent in by Mary Ellen. So tell us about this, Dr. Lori. Okay. So Mary Ellen sent in this glass bowl. This is a heritage pattern bowl. It's made by the L. E. Smith Company. It's handmade. It's nine inches in diameter. And it actually has that little star and egg pattern. It's really quite nice. It's from the late 20th century. So think about the 1970s for this one. Yeah, in fact, it reminds me of, of glass that I remember my family having that had that amber color to it. Yeah, it was that, that you know, that copper tone color, which yeah. is the red one, and that avocado color, and this nice, what we used to call goldenrod. <clears throat> goldenrod. Yeah. Okay. All right. I oh, see. Oh, you're guessing already? I don't have enough information. I don't know this. This is a lot of pressure now. David, remember, you get nothing <laughs> out of this deal. Well, I get the pride of knowing that I was right. Okay. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Oh, don't think you're right day or something. <laughs> don't think you're right day? <laughs> or everything you think is wrong day. Oh, my okay. gosh, Dr. Lowe, okay. you don't know. It became a whole thing. I said $80 <laughs> again. All right, I didn't go that yeah. high. I said $45 on this. Worth forty dollars. Wow! Oh, I'm on fire. Yep. All right. <laughs> we have you won. Item here. You won. All right. Last up, we have some stitch work sent in by Nancy. We're gonna see which one's gonna advance. So Nancy has a piece of cruel embroidery. When you use the bigger stitches, that's called cruel. It's framed. It's from the late 1970s, from the early 1980s, and it is a horn of plenty. Uh huh. Would this have been something like craft work that somebody had done? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, so and a lot of people collect this now. A lot of people collect craft pieces that are vintage. Mm. Um, you know, maybe it's rug hooking or it's cruel or embroidery or crocheting, which I do a lot of. And tell and, me about uh, the yeah. frame. Tell me yeah. about the frame, Dr. Lori. The frame is wood, and it also, if you'll notice that green insert, that green runner of the frame, tells you that it's the early 1980s. Gosh, okay. the 80s. I think with the frame, what a good decade, huh? I think it's kind of neat. I really do. I, I okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got stuck on the 80s being a good decade. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. All right, I said $75. <laughs> All right, I said $80. 
Heather Abraham at $75. Put right on the money. Wow. And right on the money. That means Damn. that our stitch work advances on. That's right. So that's what we're going to play against next week to see whether or not the three items that we pick for next week can beat the stitch work at $75. Love it. Okay. This is such a fun twist on our game. Yeah, and now I got to ask you about macrame owls. Are they worth anything? Macrame owls? Yes, my father collected owls for years and years, not real ones, but all different types. And macrame owls can be very desirable. All those macrame plant holders and owls and the yeah, wall hanging. like from the 70s. Big. Making that 50 year revival. That's right. That's what we collect. Hold on. That's to cool. Yeah, I That's remember cool. macrame owls all over. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lori, we love spending time with you, and we're excited to continue this challenge all month long. I love you guys. Hey, and don't forget to tune in March 20th to Talk Pittsburgh with You're Heather. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you for the plug, Dr. Lori. We'll send you a check. Hey, for I'll that. do my part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you next week. See you next week. See you, Dr. Week. Lori.